Hi, good morning. Hi, good morning, and welcome to today's products in focus. The US 30 there actually reached an all time high. I wanted to get pushed right back down again, and we're right back down at 17.075, just as the UK 100 hit a 14 year high yesterday before also falling down. So, lots of volatility right here, slap bang in the middle of the two ranges as ever. Will 17.075 be a springboard to rechallenge 17.1? Uh, 51. Well, that depends on the ECB meeting later on today, uh, which should give clarity as to what Draghi's monetary policy is going to be, what impact that's going to have on the euro and the eurozone indices, and uh, basically the most of the other global markets as well. Um, UK 100, as you can see there, smashed through um, 6874. Uh, closing bang on the on the line last night, but edging slightly higher this morning. So um, things certainly looking a little bit more rosy for the UK 100 versus many other global markets. So recovery well underway. Japan 225 uh, failed at potential resistance 15.828. Down day yesterday, down day again today at the bottom of its range. Um, next potential support 15.488. So moving on to dollar yen. Uh, dollar yen obviously failing to uh, rechallenge 105 spot 44, but got quite close to that, bouncing off potential support at 104 spot 63. You can actually just see that a little bit more clearly there. As we're getting close to that, we are slowly edging higher, uh, a little bit off the highs of the day, um, but still the dollar is still looking pretty good across the board. I'm looking at uh, GBP USD. Euro dollars had a bit of a bounce, a short coverings taken care of. We'll come back to that in a second. So crude oil West Texas, volatile as ever. Real bad day there on uh, Tuesday, kind of a reversal there on Wednesday, but failing to break the highs of the previous day, and we're slowly moving lower again this morning. 95 spot 40 should have been potential support, but now we've obviously broken it with this uh, Tuesday Wednesday candle. You're probably really looking at 92 spot 85 as the next potential support level, but um, there'll be lots of uh, lots of eyes on um, on Crude West Texas if the dollar begins to strengthen across the board still. Um, that same story goes for, for gold, so we actually bounced off, uh, bounced back through potential uh, support slash resistance 1267 on the right side of that level right now. So um, there might be some buying interest around here unless we take a dip below it again. Uh, and that obviously depends again how the dollar is doing as well. So looking at euro dollar, uh, a bounce of one spot 3107. There's probably not going to be a huge amount of activity in the FX pairs before the ECB uh, meeting uh, due later on today. I think it's around about lunchtime, maybe 1.30 UK time. Um, that will give you a bit of a, a flavour of, what, of what's happening. So in the middle of two ranges right now, potential resistance one spot 3193, potential support still remains at one spot 3107. So finishing up with GBP USD, um, it's feeling the pressure a little bit still actually. Quite a bad day there on Tuesday. Wednesday didn't really do too much. Bouncing around one spot 64, 63 on the wrong side of that level right now. And uh, as we mentioned before, there's not really a huge amount of potential support until you start getting down to uh, 62, 65. So, um, Further pressure on GBP would not be that great from a technical perspective. So economic data wise, apart from all the central bank meetings today, which there are numerous, it's all about the ECB. Uh, and you do also have um, uh, US ADP uh, payroll numbers. You've also got US jobless claims and you've also got US trade balance. Uh, and if you fast forward later on, you've also got the non-manufacturing business index from the Institute of, uh, of Supply and Management. That should be quite quite interesting as well. Followed by crude oil inventories, uh, which must be coming a day late actually, because um, today's Thursday. Uh, normally this is on Wednesday, but uh, that is due today. Um, so that actually could be something wor worth looking at for those of you that are trading crude oil West Texas as well. Um, and then fast forwarding on to Friday, obviously you've got uh, Eurozone GDP and non-farm payrolls. So there is a fair amount of fundamentals due today and tomorrow. Keep your eye on the chart forum as ever. Make insights part of your layout going forward and join me again tomorrow to find out what happens.